Okay, as you can see, we have a lot of the eggs moved up into retail in the old Pepsi fridge incubator, which is now the Snake Discovery uh, Easy Snake Oven. And we are, oh shoot, that's right, there's a lock, hang on. Okay, we have some hog noses that are hatching for another video, but also what I want to point out to Ed are- Is this? Yeah, those! Yeah. Somebody mentioned to me that these happen to be hatching and these are the Madagascar Giant Hog Nose Babies! <laughs> I assume that one is not theirs. Uh, this is this is a mad hog egg, but it's from a different clutch. So okay. we put them with his friends, so they're all the same species together. I don't think that wait that was laid on five five. That's what it, the marking is is the date it was laid. These are four twenty nine. Oh yeah, that one's not gonna hatch. No. But these three should, and they've actually been picked for a little while, so we're gonna cut this egg today and leave that one alone because it's uh, younger. Oh my gosh, it's our second year in a row breeding Madagascar giant hog noses. And here they are. Oh guys, I can't see your faces, but you are definitely cutting out of the eggs. Okay, we're gonna cut this last one. This was our uh, senses clutch. There must have been Five. We have taste, sense of touch, sense of hearing. The eye and the nose must have gone bad. Yep. That's my guess. I think they were here and here or and something. We had five, five. And uh, May 5th. <laughs> All right, so for the ear, since those two look fine, they made big enough slits yeah. that they'll easily be able to come out once they're ready. We're going to open up the ear egg. Is there a healthy baby Madagascar giant hog inside? Looks like it, I think. Maybe? I can't see anything. It's kind of hard to tell, but yeah, I do see a face in there. He's just way down in there, but I do see a little face. I'll have to trust you. Okay, well, yeah, you'll have to trust me. We'll wait for him to come out. And those two should be out tomorrow, so let's check back then. Okay, next day. Madagascar giant hogs, are you... Uh, oh my gosh! Yes! Oh, let me just throw this in the incubator. Oh, what a cutie! He's out! Oh my gosh! Okay. You guys all just went into the baby bin with the camera. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's take a closer look. Okay, fellow 90s kids, get the reference. Please, please, I hope you get the reference. Let us know in the comments. You can get this shirt at snakediscoverystore.com if you like it. But I don't think many people actually get the reference because we yeah. haven't gotten many comments or I haven't on this shirt. So hopefully it's not a lost cause. Okay, it's been about five days since we last checked in on these babies and I'm assuming all three of them are out now. So yeah. let's take a look. It's been busy. It's been a busy five days. I it, bet they're right here. I bet you yeah, where the blob is. Yeah. I bet you're right. <gasps> oh my there gosh. There they are. Through, wait. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. The that last one out. He's hatching too. I guess he was laid six days later than they were laid, so. Maybe I, they encouraged him to come out. <laughs> maybe, well, I guess that would still be on track too. I know these two haven't moved at all. Do you not care do, that we're do, looking do, at do, you? Do, do. Man, they are, oh. Okay, so we just filmed baby planes hog noses and <laughs> these are massive in comparison to them. Look at your big blocky head. Oh, they're so pretty. And the checker is on the side. Okay, and now we have one more cutie on his way yep. out. Wow. He's got like a light colored head. Yeah, I was noticing that too. That's crazy. You have an interesting pattern. I guess on this one has a little, a little bit of that too. Yeah, I wonder if as the scales solidify once they're out, it darkens. Maybe. I don't know. Aww. Yeah, look at that little white, little white head. Yeah. Whiter head. I'll be curious to see this cutie come out. Yeah, he's like, oh, suck back in. You all have the same dad. You just have different moms than yep. that one, but you're all half You're brothers siblings. from other mothers. That's <laughs> right. Uh <-huh>. Nice. <laughs> hey, that freeze came in perfectly. Okay, so we're actually going to set up baby bins for just these three babies today, and then we'll come back and wait until he comes out. All right, baby, baby bin. That was the quickest baby bin setup ever. <laughs> we do need some caves in the back. We're just using yeah. a piece of cork as a placeholder for now, so they have something to kind of slither around. But we are ordering up more caves. They just haven't come yeah, in we yet. We got the perfect cave, and we're still in the middle of trying to find where it. to get them. Yes. <laughs> well, they're so smooth. Yeah. Have you? Did you notice that? Yeah. They are so soft. Okay, so baby normal hogs, you know, they're rough. They have got they've got the keeled scales, so they feel rough to the touch. But these. These feel as smooth as a Mexican black king snake. Wow, that's bonkers. I was not expecting that, or I forgot about that from last year. Yeah. Here's baby number two, and then baby number three. There you go. Baby number two is gonna be a big pain in our butt, I can already tell. Yeah, apparently. You stay in there, baby number two. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. <laughs> All right, into the baby rack. And we'll wait for him to come out. 
All right, the last baby is out, and we have a surprise for you, yeah. a bonus snake baby, after we set this guy up. So here is our last Madagascar giant hog of the year. <gasps> Officially hatched! Oh Wait. man, these eggs, these eggs. Oh, it's because these are old eggs now. Yeah. There's fungus gnats in here. We, Let's... Didn't, we didn't get many mad hogs this year. We did it. No, only four little babies, but they all look healthy. The females need to pull their weight. Yeah, well, one female's getting really old, and so yeah. we have two left. We're raising up a couple of the really good eaters from last year. And, and they're going to be captive bred. Yeah. So they'll so... be a little bit better breeders to begin with. Yep, exactly. So we're trying to, like, hold back a lot of mad hogs so that we can keep breeding them and not rely on our wild-caught adults. Let's we'll see if we can get anybody to trade with us. Yeah. Females females. Is that a male? Maybe. I think that's a male. That's yeah, a pretty long it tail. Is. It's about to poop or something. Yeah, he is about to poop. He's also about to shed, so he looks really light in color right yeah. now. He looks like he just went through the desert for 30 days. Yeah, he does. <laughs> hey, buddy. Welcome to the world. You are the only one of your clutch, but yeah. you have half siblings that have hatched. So let's get you set up in your baby bin. I'm just going to let him chill up there, yeah, I think. They don't seem to be the most. Oh, oh. he wants to go in his baby Okay, bin. well, here you go. You'll have that. <laughs> he can watch the whole thing. Look, we're going to mist you down. He's like, I don't want this anymore. We're going to give you a big water dish so that you can soak. But we're not going to do the extra moss in these baby bins because that seemed to be too much moisture and the babies were starting to develop a little bit of scale rot last year. So not we've learned from it. So we're just not going to use moss this year. Yep. We're going to give him this cave for I the I mean, back. this is the reason we love these water dishes. He's already <laughs> going underneath it. Yeah, they're hollow underneath. It's so perfect. Yeah. Dollar Tree? Uh, I, I think they're from the Dollar Tree. Yeah. There we go. And a piece of cork. Perfect. Ta-da! Baby bin. And he's gone. <laughs> All right. Well, since he has left the video, apparently, we are going to move on to the bonus snake for today's uh, today's hatching video. This is one that you all saw get put into the incubator. Yep. But only one survived. So. Yes. This is the clutch from Audrey and Bueller. They had three eggs, and we drew a dad, a mom, and a baby on the three eggs. And the only one to make it out in the end was the daddy egg. Yep. And he has hatched. They had a car accident and oh. mom and baby passed away. Oh my gosh, you made it so dark. <laughs> okay, well, moving on. Here's their baby. Oh. Wow, you're a big baby that too. That is a chunk. Wow. Holy moly. Yeah, we knew it was going to be an albino because both parents were albino, but there was a 50-50 chance of it being a conda. It looks like it is not a conda. It's a normal. We had just a normal, but it's a beautiful little it's a normal. big, chunky normal. That is a big, chunky normal. Mm, look at him. Oh, hi, buddy. Have you been alone? since you hatched. <laughs> I'm sorry the rest of your family died in a fiery car crash. Oh, that's okay. We'll yeah. love you extra. You're yeah. very cute. Is Our, it a boy? I was just about to look. We ha Oh yeah, that's a I can tell from now or from oh, here. Yeah. That's a big long yeah, tail. That's a boy. You are a boy. So I mean the the, the egg was right drawing in. Flip that back over for a second. What is the dark mass right there? Is that his heart? No, I think that's, that's way like too gallbladder. Low. Is that a gallbladder? Yeah, okay. pretty sure. Yeah, albino snakes guys, you can kind of see their organs through, which is Especially when they're young, cool. they have yeah. see-through skin. I wonder if we'll be able to see his heart, which is about a quarter of the way down. It should yeah. be right around here. That's why I was wondering what that dark mass was. Oh, yep. Yep, aha, uh -huh, there it is. Oh my gosh, you can see his heart beating. Do you mm -hmm. see it there? Yep. Nice. He doesn't even care. No, he's just like, whatever. This is a chill hog nose, guys. <laughs> wow, you're going to be Hopefully a good... he's a good eater. Yeah, if he's a good eater and he's this chill, he's going to be an excellent pet for somebody. Mm -hmm. All right, buddy, you, my friend, are going to go into this escape-proof baby bin. Because <laughs> we don't trust you. We do not. Here, we'll give you the uh, paper towel, water dish. We'll give you a cool snake discovery hide. And I'll spoil you with a uh, cork. cork and a leaf. Big leaf. Yes, he's been through some trauma already, yeah. having lost the rest of his family. <laughs> maybe we should stop this yeah, joke. Maybe yeah, we should. Okay, we're going to stop the joke there. He is a beautiful little hog nose, though. All right, here you go. This is your new home. Well, well, temporary home until you yep. go to your final home. Which, knowing our hog noses this year, everyone's been eating really well. They really have. Look at an inchworm. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cute squinch, little squinch, squinch, <laughs> squinch, squinch. Is that the official term yep, for the way baby hogs move? Baby hogs, they squinch. Worms. You Hopefully, know. that's not like a slur. It sounds like a slur. It doesn't sound like a great word, but squinch. Well, we are coining the word squinch as the verb explaining how hog noses move. As it's babies. not. It's not like the S curve. It's like the yeah, where they just kind of like. Eh, yeah, inchworm. Like that yeah. one was just doing, oh, oh, he's getting upset now. Are you mad now? 
don't talk about me squinching. Why are you so mad all of a sudden? You're hooding up. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend Jeez. you. Maybe squinch is a bad word. Maybe squinch is a bad okay. word. Dog knows this. Hmm. Well, I still like it though. So. <laughs> Assuming it's not something I don't know about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna put him and the baby mad hog into the baby racks. All right, little baby, should he go up here, you think? Or uh, down at the bottom? There's two down there. Yeah, there, well, he can go up here. Yeah. Here go, buddy. There you go, with all the other little hog noses. All right, and then this little baby mad hog is, I guess, gonna hang out with some bull snakes. Sure, we can scoot that one bull snake over. Oh yeah, there we go, so those are all bulls. Yep. And now we have a mad hog to join the group. Yep. Yay! All right, since this video has been mostly focused on the Madagascar giant hogs, and you're all familiar with them, and our zoo is packed, and yeah. I don't want to go out there. I was gonna say, there. you don't want to go out there and get distracted and yeah. stuck. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll just chat with people about snakes the whole time, and we'll yep. forget to film this video. So the mad hogs are gonna stay in the zoo, and instead we're gonna focus on Charlotte big, here. big, chunky girl who yeah. we raised. Yeah, we this... raised her since before her first meal. Is this the first one that we raised and bred? And mitosis. Mitosis, mitosis we actually produced and That's raised true. and then bred. But this girl, we... Did she breed for us last year? She did breed for us last year, okay, too. Okay, so she would yeah. have been the first one that we yeah, raised Yeah, she is baby. true. That's a good point. She's a big yeah. chunky girl. Look at this Yeah, chunk. she was such a cute little baby, and now she's huge, and now she's a mom. Yeah. It's awesome. I love Charlotte. She is probably... Uh-oh, Emily's just about to... Uh... I think she is. I mean, she has been for a while, and I've told a couple fans in the zoo, she is my favorite snake Aww. in our collection. She's they're just all a... not going to breed for us now, because they <laughs> all know they're unloved. You're all Ed's favorites. Yes. Ed I love them. you all equally. <laughs> I still love... Anyway, okay. So this is... <laughs> so Charlotte is an amazing hog nose. I really do love her, and I'm glad that she had... Even though only one hatch, I'm glad she had a successful clutch and had at least one baby this year. Well, thank you guys for watching this two-clutch... or er, three-clutch special, actually. Uh, thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support, and we'll see you next time. Here you go. Before you guys leave, comment whether you like hot westerns or giants better. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good there question. We go.